Okay, so what's going on today? You know, I woke up this morning and I was thinking, you know, the Lord has been giving me a lot of visions of things to come. He's shown me how the Holy Scriptures are so imperative to us walking right today. And when we don't follow these scriptures, the Lord is showing me that, you know, we go through turmoil. We go through ups and downs. We got to understand, folks, that there's something left on this earth. And it wasn't given to us under Moses' laws. We understand under Moses' laws that, you know, you had the laws and then you had judgment. That was the Old Testament. And something we got to understand is the Old Testament was basically set up as something carnal so that we could have a blueprint on how we should be. That was the first covenant, the new covenant that started was with Yeshua. He came back and he showed us that, you know what? If you walk right, if you do these things that I show you, and don't try to use your own heart. What does he say? Curses the man who follows his what? Your own heart. We got to realize that we've been given out a way out of this situation on this earth. We've been given a, a way to grab the, what I would call the skirt of the Messiah. What is that? That's the Holy Spirit. How do you obtain the Holy Spirit? Well, the scriptures say faith coming by hearing, and hearing comes by the word. We got to truly pick up the books um, and, and study these books so that the Holy Spirit can flourish through us and we can get that armor on. What is the whole armor of the Most High? The whole armor of the Most High is walking in faith, walking in righteousness. Basically, when he teaches us how we should pray, which means when you come to him, the Lord says, when you pray to me, I want you to go through my son. That means whenever we pray to the Most High, we need to talk to him as a father. And when we talk to him as a father, he will answer us as a father does. And he'll start giving us answers in abundance. So the biggest thing that we need to realize right now is that we have a gift that was given us by Yeshua, who you ignorantly call Jesus. And that gift was that we have an intercessor. The intercessor is the Holy Spirit. The only way that you're going to get a hold to this Holy Spirit is, let me, let me explain it to you. There's a demonic, the demonic right now uh, entities all over the earth. Um, they've been here, but right now they're real active. A lot of people have had what they call witches riding their back. I get a lot of people calling me or saying that they feel like something's riding their back or they feel as though when they're in their house, they can feel the spirit there. Or even when they're going out and about, they just don't feel right. They feel uneasy. Folks. A lot of people are feeling this way because Lord of Spirits, the one who created all of our spirits right now, right now as we speak, he's getting ready to come back. And what he's doing is that spirit, what you call the Ruach Kodesh, is permeating all through the earth. And these, these seven spirits that come and go, what you call the seven angels, they actually make up what you would call the Holy Spirit. These are different ministering spirits. And right now they're going through the whole earth and they're checking people. They're letting people know they're not, you're not doing right. Not only that, these spirits are putting dreams in people and letting them know that, you know what? Messiah is coming back soon and you need to clean your house. Not only clean your house, you need to get right with your children. You need to get right with your husband. You need to get right with your spouses because I'm coming like a what? A thief in the night. Folks, this is not time to play. It's not time to be full of games. Do you not see what's going on in Palestine? Do you not see what's going on in Gaza? Do you not see what's going on in the Americas? Do you not see what's going on in Africa? Do you not see what's going on in Russia, China, Afghanistan, Pakistan? All these nations are distressed right now. Why? Because the Lord of Spirits is coming back real soon, and he's going to check everybody. And so this is the time right now where you can prepare to get yourself right. So when the kingdom comes, that you don't have to sit there and be worried, are you going to make it? You want to make sure your lamps are full, that you're not wanting. What does wanting mean? Wanting simply means that you're not sitting there when you should have your lamps full and the bridegrooms come back, it's halfway empty. You're wanting. Why? Because you haven't studied to show yourself to be approved. You haven't said to yourself, you know what? This world that we live in is wicked as heck. I'm sitting there looking at the same people who they say were the Lord's children, and everybody's realizing now that those people are not the Lord's children whatsoever. And now we're learning that the ones we call a byword, a proverb, all these people that we look down upon, now we're realizing that these are the Lord's anointed. This is why they've been treated so horrible, such as Yeshua was treated. This is why they've been called names and spat upon, hung in trees, all these things done to them just like the Messiah. Why? The Lord said we will be hated of all nations. Saying that, now he's returning the blessings back again. Now that everybody's saying that the Lord's true children 
They're picking these books up. They're giving them the word, <clears throat> unfiltered. They're not doing the things like the churches did, you know. And I, and I always say this precept, Acts 17, verse 24. You know, the scriptures say that the Lord does not <clears throat> dwell in a place that's built with man's hand. It says that he dwells inside his saints. So we need to understand that right now the Lord is giving us, yes, you can you kiss this, that the Lord is with us right now, and he's watching all of us. You know, I see right now, you see I got my grandbaby, and um, this is something we should do as a people. We should, you know, I got some friends that don't even get their grandchildren. I have no understanding of that. You know, I got 29 grandchildren. The Lord has blessed me with these babies. And, you know, speaking of one right here, she's got eyes, green eyes, just like my wife. They're actually identical. This is my baby boy's baby. And so saying that, we got to also prepare for our children. Do you not understand that the Lord visits the second, third, fourth, and tenth generation of the children? And right now he's visiting a lot of these nations who, you know, if you go to Psalms 83, verse 1, it says, Keep not thy silence, O Lord, and hold not thy peace, and be not still. For lo, thy enemies make a tumult, and they that hate thee. Why do they say hate thee? Because just like they hated Christ, they hate us. Say, they that hate thee, you understand, have taken crafty counsel. They say, come, let us cut them off for being a nation. And they've consulted against our hidden ones, saying, come, let us cut them off for being a nation. For they came together with one consent. They are confederate against thee. And so the confederacy was the one. So the confederacy is the one that came together and they were confederate around the world. So all these nations that you send under distress right now, when you go into Turkey, Turkey is ahead of Edom. When you deal with Iranians, a lot of them are Turks. And when you deal with these other nations out here who migrated into the so-called um, dark people's areas, because all those lands that you see, folks, are inhabited by so-called um, people of color. And now they've been inhabited by other nations. And that's why the scriptures say that be brother will be against brother, mother against mother, son, daughter, father against son. All these people right now conspiring against each other. And I understand a lot of them are relatives. So get your house straight and know this, that the Messiah is coming back soon. He's coming back like a thief in the night. And if you don't have your house straight, if you don't have your, your, your so-called kitchen swept, you understand, which is your house swept, which means that you don't have a a level ground or you don't have your, your sown on rock. When I say you're sown on sand, you're not sown with a solid foundation. It's so easy for the storm. And there's a storm, folks, coming. The Lord says he's coming in the whirlwind. And so a lot of people will not be able to make this storm. They will not be able to make it. Why? Because they don't have the tools to get through. Many are called, but few are chosen. So you can't change everybody in your family. You can't change your mother, sister, brother. Why? Because they may not have been called. That's why the Lord calls this a called out assembly. And if he's calling you right now, if he's talking to you, and if he's having a conversation about you in heaven, just like he had about Job, you understand, just like he had about Abraham, and he told Lucifer, I know you can't change my children. If there's a conversation going on about you, and you can feel in your spirit that there's something you need to do, well, folks, this is the time to do it. Because I'm telling you right now, the dreams and the visions I've been having, I saw this man in the shower with a baby. Man, it just irked me, him and another man. And then I saw another vision of, um, you know, I seen this guy in the alley and he had his young son in the alley or his nephew and he had a prostitute with this, with this kid just trying to show him things. Then the Lord showed me another vision. He showed me this man. He was in the house on a chair with his wife. And then there was four or five other men around and they were all sharing this man's wife. And you know what he said to me? Do you see the abominations that I see? Son, do you see what I see? This is why I'm coming back to destroy the whole earth. All these things have reached to heaven. And the blood of my saints, my children, is reached up to heaven. Now I'm coming back. My son, my son, I'm about to touch him on his shoulders. He's coming back with Michael and 10,000 saints to do judgment. And then I'm going to make my people, my people, a battle axe. Oh, praises. So take this message to heart and know that the Lord loves you. He chose us. He just wants us to choose him. Be blessed.